Hey everybody, I'm Justin with Remodelaholic and today we are building this DIY entry table with cubby storage and a section with adjustable shelves. My wife Cassidy and I designed this table not only for the entry, but so it can be used in other rooms throughout the house. It can be a baby changing table, a dollhouse after the baby grows up, a kitchen island, a dresser in a bedroom, a TV console, there are many uses for this piece of furniture. We also designed it with a finished back so it doesn't always have to be up against the wall. If you would like to build this project, check out the link to the plans here in the upper corner at the end of the video or in the description box below. I am building this out of 3 quarter inch cabinet grade maple for the main cabinet. I chose maple because it was nice and smooth and I wanted a really nice clean finish. All right, so I have all my pieces cut to finish length and width. Uh, we've got the top and bottom. These are the sides, the middle dividers. These are adjustable shelves. These are the shelves that go in between the dividers, and this is our back piece right here. Now I've got to put in the dados where they need to go on each piece. I really made sure that all my boards were as square as possible, so when I assemble everything, it'll fit and everything will be nice and tight. Be sure to check out our blog post for the links to all the tools that I will be using for this project. I'm trying to be as efficient as possible and so I'm lining up two or more boards so that I just have to set up the fence once and route it out. And then this is my straightest straight edge and so I'm using that as a fence clamped down to the boards as I route this out. So this is what happens when I'm not paying attention and you don't have your fence tight enough, you'll cut out more than enough. So it's not quite lined up. So I want this flush with this and then that rabbit edge to be flush with the other side. So before I assemble everything, I'm going to drill the holes for the adjustable shelves that we're going to have behind the door section. So it's really nice with this jig, you only need to measure a couple things. And then once you get a rhythm, you can drill a lot of holes really fast. So I'm just gonna go over it once and then just hit these edges just slightly. These are gonna go in the dados and up against the backs and I just want those nice and clean. So I'm just gonna set these inside this little clamp and it just holds it in place for me while I get things ready. The next Piece. Like this. So I have this joint right here 
I'm going to put glue right up here and clamp that together. That'll be my first one. And what I want to make sure is that the, so since the front is at the bottom, I'm going to feel that the boards are flush with each other before I nail it in place. All right, so this is how the main cabinet turned out. So we got the four cubbies right here, and then here we're gonna have adjustable shelves, and we have all these in place. And I think it turned out pretty good. And now the next step that I'm going to take is, I'm gonna put this trim all around the top. That's gonna be my first thing to do. I, I debated back and forth whether I was going to like create a face frame separate and then attach it, but I think it's going to be easier to start with the top trim and then do the legs because I'm going to miter these leg boards together and then fill in all the trim work in between. I think that's going to be easier. So we're going to do it that way. So I'm going to use a one by two and they're three quarters of an inch thick and one and a half inch wide and then I'm going to miter the corners. Before I do that, real quick, I'm going to take some sandpaper, this is actually 220, and I'm just going to smooth the edges between, um, between the boards just so I have a nice clean surface to nail and glue the trim to. So I tried to get it as flush as I could. There's, there is a little bit of a lip, but I'm just gonna try to sand that off. I'm gonna go around all four sides and do that. Here I've got four of the leg boards clamped together and I'm cutting them all at once. Now I'm going to miter one of the edges at a 45 degree angle on the table saw.
All right, so I have my 45 degrees cut on the corner pieces. I'm gonna glue them and then I'm going to nail them in place. But I'm going to glue um, where the miter is going to be. Also, I'm gonna glue on this side so it glues to the sides. Here I'm using hammer to finish off the mitered edges. This gives it a nice clean look. I waited until after I had all the legs installed to cut all the individual frame pieces and then nail them in place. Now I am cutting out the details for the legs on the miter saw. And then all I have to do is save this piece and cut it to length right there. So I need to make eight of these. Now it's time to make the door. I cut strips of wood to glue around the edges of the plywood panel. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is install the hinges to the door. Here are the hinges that I'm going to use. These are the Etrusta 150 degree angle hinge from Ikea. This bag comes with two hinges. I'm gonna use two hinges on this door, one on the top corner and one on the bottom. 
This is what that hinge looks like. It's really cool. We we love these hinges. We have them all over the house in our cabinets. They're really strong, really durable. Um, the tricky part is getting all the holes to line up with these three holes. There's a big one, one and three eighths, and then there's two little ones at five sixteenths. So we had these hinges left over from another project and they're gonna work perfect for these doors. It's gonna be a flush mount door and it's gonna be able to open pretty wide. So then this will just go inside those holes and clamp down. So there's a little arrow right here on this bracket. I'm gonna make sure that it's lined up. Like this, this is how I wanna put it. One thing I like about these hinges is that once you get the door installed and the hinges installed, you can make slight adjustments up, down, backwards, forward, you can you can fine tune it and because it's I want the door kind of flush with the front of the face frame I'm gonna need to fine tune that to make it look right There's our little doorknob. And on the back side, I put a washer just to help keep that screw from going through the wood too much. Now I'm gonna work on the adjustable shelves. I cut these quarter inch pieces, I ripped them on the table saw, and now I'm gonna glue them to the front so you don't have to see the grain of the plywood. You'll see a full piece of wood there. Now that everything is assembled, I'm patching all the holes and filling any gaps with wood filler. Right now it's unfinished because we haven't decided on how to finish it yet. How would you finish it? Would you stain it or paint it? Let us know in the comments below. Just a reminder, we do have plans available and they're right here. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our DIY projects. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.